Now, with Al-Shabaab still lingering in Somalia, UN agencies, the Somali government and the Somali Journalists Union are working to address violence against journalists and the problem of censorship. Abdulaziz Bilo has more for VOA from Mogadishu. This year, at least three journalists have been killed in Somalia and three more badly wounded. Abdurisaq Ilmi, a local TV journalist, was the latest victim. A known gunman shot him at close range outside his Mogadishu home. He survived but suffered severe wounds. The government says now is the time to address the safety of journalists. Mustafa Duhlo is Somalia's Minister of Information. As you are all aware, Somalia is moving forward to become a peaceful nation. Therefore, this is the best time to address all the challenges such as impunity, safety of journalists and understanding the need to develop Somali media as each country's development depends on how its media are free. Journalists in Somalia have been meeting with key partners to discuss their security concerns. At this session, representatives from the United Nations, the Somali government and the Somali Journalists Union jointly expressed their concerns over attacks on the media. The UN's Cassandra Nelson pointed out that Somalia is among the top 10 deadliest countries for journalists in the world. And despite significant progresses that have been made in Somalia, assassinations, imprisonments, harassment still continues and often without impunity. And that's what we are here to talk about together as a group. The Journalists Union Mohammed Ibrahim outlined his group's concern. The impunity of, uh, you know, is giving more opportunity for the killers uh, to do more attacks against the journalists. So uh, this conference um, will mainly focus on the issue of safety and the security of journalists and the current freedom of expression situation. The journalists also debated a controversial media law that awaits parliamentary approval. For months now, journalists have expressed concern over some parts of the law which they say restrict freedom of the press while not properly addressing their safety. UN officials and share these reservations. Jaco Dutoit is with UNESCO's regional office for East Africa. Journalists are extremely important in our society and without information that they provide us, we will not be able to make informed decisions. In addition to violence, journalists face the problem of government censorship. The Somali government recently shut down two independent radio stations accused of inciting violence among Somalis. Several journalists are also in prisons across the country. In Somaliland, a self-declared independent nation to the north, authorities have increased their control of the media by shutting down leading newspapers and imprisoning editors. Abdul Aziz Bilaw for VOA News. Mogadishu.